Hi guys! I'm going to show you how to create our project for this chapter. And this project is called Como Es. You're going to choose a person or a group. So it could be like a band or somebody. And you're going <clears> to <throat> kind of do a bio about them. But we're going to do this in a little different way. We're actually going to create a magazine cover and article about them. And then you will present that to the class. So um, you guys are going to have a project description print it out for you and it's going to kind of break down what are the steps that you need to take in order to do this. So I'll show you real quick what the end product might look like. So I did this one on Katniss just for an example. So this is like a little magazine cover and it says who she is, it says uh, what she's like, so she's valiente, she's brave, alta, she's fuerte. And then I've got some questions, right? Just like on a magazine cover they have things to pique the interest of the reader. And then I've got a little more info about her and a nice little tagline at the top, okay? So <clears throat> what that's going to look like for us is you're going to choose a person or group. And on your magazine cover, you have to have these things. You have to have their photo, so Google Images. Um, vertical photos work better. Portrait photos work better than landscape and horizontal photos, just with the program we're going to use. You need to write out the four questions. So here we have quién es, de dónde es, de qué nacionalidad es, y cómo es. Okay? I've got correct punctuation, capitalization, those upside down question marks. If you are not sure how to type those characters, two real simple ways, go to my YouTube channel, watch my video on it, or just Google Spanish characters and copy and paste those. Okay? That's probably the easiest way. You need to have three adjectives that describe them. You're welcome to use new adjectives that we haven't seen in the book. Just make sure you're applying concordancia and make sure if you're using a dictionary that you're using an adjective and not a noun, okay? You need to include their nationality. So obviously Katniss isn't a real person, so I kind of had to fiddle with her nationality, so I said panemense, okay? And then you need to also include where they're from. So that could be a city or a region. So I put that she was from Distrito 12, right? She's from District 12. And then you also need to tell me who they are besides their name. So are they an actor? Are they, I put that she was <clears throat> the girl on fire, La Chica en Llamas, okay? But tell me what they're, who they are. Are they an actor? Are they a music band? And if you need help with that, that's a good idea to ask me, okay? Obviously, you're going to do all this in Spanish. Then let's look at how to create that magazine cover. So you're going to go to this website, bighugelabs.com, okay? And scroll down a little bit and click on magazine cover. So you need to have already selected your photo at this point. So I'm going to browse for my photo and I want to use the penguins of Madagascar because I think they're just adorable. So you'll notice it doesn't appear necessarily in your thing but it does say photo selected continue to the next step. Okay awesome I can go ahead. This is where you're going to fiddle with all the fun things on the project. So you're going to choose a layout, you can make it, um, you can change, you can crop it, you can choose the colors you want to use, okay? I'm not going to go into this, this is for you to play with, be as creative as you want, okay? Change the font, whatever you want to do. The magazine title, and this is where it's important to look at this, that's going to be their name, right? And depending on the layout you use, it's going to look a little different. Then, the tagline, that's where I think is the best place to use uh, who they are. So like, una actriz famosa, a famous actress, something like that, okay? You don't need to do a publication date, that's fine. But fiddle with these, and then you're going to add in all those requirements that we just saw in our project description. So, um, depending on the layout you choose, it's going to look different. So I'm going to add... Quienes son? Because that's one of our questions. But since it's the los pingüinos, it's plural, I have to use the plural form, right? Quienes son? And here I'm just going to write etc. so that you get the idea of what that might look like. Okay. So you want to make sure you're spelling everything correctly, always, okay? You've got all these lines to work with, and you can kind of fiddle with it as far as how that looks to you. I think it looks great, let's say, and I'm going to hit create. So I've created my, zoom out a little bit for you, 
I created my um, poster, excuse me, my magazine cover, and so I've got their name, I've got some information here, obviously you would complete all of these bullet points, okay, and you would have had more information present there. Now, this is why I say it's probably better to use a portrait photo as opposed to a landscape photo, but you can fiddle with that yourself. If that looks good to you, I'm just going to hit Save Image As, save it to my desktop as a JPEG, and then there I have it. I have the actual image of my thing. So once I have the magazine cover, I'm going to put that into a Word document because I'm going to write an article about them, right? So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to open a Word document. And I'm just going to paste it in there. Okay, and again, fiddle with the thing, make it centered, whatever you want to do. And then underneath is where I'm going to type an article about them. So what are the requirements for the article you have to have? So it's going to be a very brief paragraph, okay? You're going to describe the person, and you're going to do this in complete sentences. So you're going to put a description of the person. In the article, you have to have five adjectives. On the cover, I only asked for three. In the article, you need to use five, okay? Again, we're always using concordancia, correct spelling. You need to answer the four questions. So I said... Quién es, o quién es son in this case, so I need to say son los pingüinos de Madagascar, okay? I could say they're uh, pilots, son pilotos, right, because they fly a little airplane. Then I'm going to answer all four of those questions. I have, I'm going to include a photo of them, which we've done with our magazine cover, okay? Then that is what you're going to turn into me, okay? Oh, and this is an old due date, so we're just going to erase that. So that's what you're going to turn into me. All right, then what you're going to do is you're going to actually present this to the class. And we'll talk more in person about what that presentation is going to look like. But basically, you're going to tell us about the person in complete sentences, of course, right? You're going to tell them who they are. So are they an actress? Are they the girl on fire or whatever? What are they like physically or personally? So those are going to be your adjectives. Are they simpatico? Are they alta? Are they whatever? Okay, you're going to talk about their nationality. And you're talking about where they're from. If you do not know how to say their nationality, wordreference.com, good dictionary, or um, I will help you with this one, okay? So I will give you a due date in class, and I would actually like you to print this out yourself, all right? We're going to sign up for the order of presentation, and then I will post, um, I will also give you the rubric as far as the oral speaking. Okay, so don't forget bighugelabs.com. That's where you need to go in order to get that done. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. And make sure you don't wait to the last minute to do this because sometimes you end up spending a lot of time formatting and you want to make sure you give yourself ample time to be creative and do things like that. Okay, good luck.